let's evaluate this expression. And remember, we work within grouping symbols first. Here, this fraction bar serves as a grouping symbol, and we work or simplify above and below this fraction bar independently. So let's work above and below the fraction bar. Let's concentrate first above and think of order of operations. I have 64 divided by 8 times 2. Remember, we multiply or divide in order from left to right. So we will divide first. And 64 divided by 8 is 8. So I have 8 and then times 2 so far above the fraction bar. Now, let's independently work below the fraction bar. Think of order of operations below the fraction bar. Notice we have a set of parentheses below the fraction bar, so we'll work within this set of parentheses first, and within the set of parentheses, I will evaluate this square root and this square root. So what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. Then minus, what is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. And then I have close parentheses, square, plus 1. Let's continue to work above and below this fraction bar independently. Above the fraction bar, what is 8 times 2? Well, 8 times 2 is 16. Now let's work below the fraction bar. 3 minus 2 is 1. And what is 1 squared? 3 minus 2 is 1. And 1 squared, that's 1 times 1, is 1. And then I still have plus 1 equals 16 above the fraction bar, 1 plus 1 is 2 below the fraction bar. Remember, this fraction bar means division, so now I can divide. What is 16 divided by 2? Well, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So our original expression simplifies to 8.